There's a lot to love about compact sets. Links in the description to other lessons I've done on the topic. Today we're proving another nice property of compact sets. If k is compact and non-empty, then not only do the supremum of k and the infimum of k both exist, but they're also both elements of k. We've previously proven that compact sets are closed and bounded, so this is a pretty easy result to prove. The set's bounded, so it will have a supremum and an infimum, and it's closed, so it will have to contain its limit points, which the infimum and supremum are. Now, of course, if k was empty, it can't contain its supremum or infimum because it cannot contain anything. Let's quickly go through the proof. Firstly, regarding the existence of the supremum and infimum. Since k is compact, we know k is closed and bounded. Again, link in the description to my lesson proving that. Boundedness, though, implies that k has a supremum and it has an infimum. That's just the axiom of completeness. A bounded set has a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. Now we have to use another prior result, link in the description to the proof. The fact that k is bounded above not only means that it has a supremum, but also that there is a sequence in entirely contained in K that converges to the supremum. Now that means by definition that the supremum is a limit point of K, but then K was taken to be compact, which means it contains all of its limit points because it's closed. And that means that it must contain this particular limit point, the supremum. So the supremum of K exists and it's an element of K. Once more, we know K contains its limit points because it's compact, which means it's closed, and a set being closed means that it contains its limit points. Sometimes that's given as the definition of closed, sometimes it's given as an equivalent definition. Either way, you can check the description for links to videos where we prove all this stuff. And then similar thing for the infimum. K being bounded below means there's a sequence in K converging to the infimum, which means the infimum is a limit point, but then the set is closed, so it contains its limit points, so the infimum not only exists, but is also an element of K. So a compact set not only has a supremum and an infimum, but it will actually contain the supremum and infimum. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Real Analysis course and Real Analysis Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.